I've got the recipe for these um, grease patties from the Backyard Beekeeper, which is a must read for any beekeeper. I really truly think it's a great book and it has some wonderful information. So, to make the grease patties, you need three pounds of shortening, you need ten pounds of sugar, you need a half a pound of honey, your honey, not store board honey, you want it pure, you need wax paper, and you need storage bags. And you can use essential oils, but I haven't been able to find any, winter, uh, winter green or peppermint. So I have Honey Bee Healthy, which I got from Brushy Mountain um, Bee. I'm going to use a little bit of that in it as well. So, let me get everything settled, and then we'll start working on it. Okay, so now for about, mm, maybe not quite 10 minutes, I've cooked the shortening down to a clear, um liquid like it says in the instructions and I'm going to slowly start mixing in um, sugar and I'm gonna have to break away because I'm the only one here so I have to stop and stir it myself so when I get it mixed up I'll come back and now I'm mixing in the honey too and then I'm gonna turn off the heat A little messy. Okay, so it's time to really mix it up. I've been mixing and mixing. I got some more mixing to do. I had to move it into a smaller pot. It was a little too hard for me in the bigger pot. So it kind of like right now is kind of pasty, clumpy, kind of looks like mashed potatoes. Um, I'm hoping that's right. But we'll see. I'm going to mix some more. I'm not going to bore you with my mixing feats. And then in a little bit, we're going to start scooping it out with a ice cream scoop and making like hamburger sized patties between wax paper and we'll freeze some and we'll put some on the bees in a little while so I will come back as soon as I'm ready to start making the patties okay so we're making patties now looks like we're gonna have a lot of patties all I'm doing is taking about uh, three ice cream scoops and putting them on the wax paper and squishing them down and then taking another wax paper putting it over top of it and just repeating it over and over and over again. In a little while I'll take this, put it in a Ziploc storage bag and put it in the freezer and continue making them. Uh, looks like this batch should last me a pretty decent amount of time and probably could give some away to some friends. So hopefully this will uh, do some good with the bees. I'm going to also put some um, granulated sugar into the hives as well but we'll be out there in a little while hopefully once the temperature gets up a little higher and we'll show you what's what. So I ended up with about 27 grease patties. I bagged them in tens and put them down in the freezer. I have two bags of ten and then this last bag of three because those four are going to go out on the hives in a little bit. But it took me rest uh, less than an hour, maybe about an hour to put it all together. Not too too bad. It was a little messy but not horrible. So. Hope this helps you out. Enjoy making yourself some grease patties.